Hey folks out there in YouTube land, my name is Mike, and this is a tour of my Harbor Freight, no fake snap-ons, no fake Craftsman, Harbor Freight 44 Toolbox. This thing is the workhorse of aviation maintenance. This is going to have everything you need in it to dismantle aircraft, fixed wing and helicopters, and some countries' small governments. Now if you'll come in and take a look in my box, on my first drawer, we're going to have all of my ratchets. Uh, we're going to have all my extensions, a breaker bar, a long extension because that helps sometimes. We're going to have this little tool we call a Pac-Man, but it gets into places for torques where we can't put a socket or a crow's foot. I've got these ratcheting crow's feet right here, right here which are really cool because A, they ratchet and B, you can put an extension on them and use them in tight spots. I got your standard crow's feet. Oh, and because we usually work on everything that's metric and not much SAE, most of these sockets and wrenches in here will be metric. So then we have another standard set of uh, crow's feet. I got this little jewel, which is a reduced size socket set for getting in thin places. Works pretty good, but only on a couple things. Over here, I've got some swivel base sockets. And then on these, I got my quarter inch and my uh, 3 8 drive sockets. Um, deep well, shallow wells, swivels, step up, step downs, you name it. On to the next drawer. The next drawer is all my screwdrivers and associated items. I got flatheads, Phillips, big picks, small picks, 90 degree picks, curved picks, straight picks. I've got torque drivers. I've got offset screwdrivers. I've got um, a micro screwdriver kit for when my glasses fall off and i got to repair them. I've got a box full of bits, 100 bits. Too small to mark. I got two ratcheting screwdrivers. I've got a set of Allen wrenches both in metric and SAE. I don't know why I have the SAE stuff because we don't really use it. Over here, my personal drawer where every mechanic will hide some parts, some pins, and some aspirin, some gum, a couple needles for in intravenous drug use, uh, spare parts, and lotion for when you're not really doing anything at work. Over here, this is the wrench drawer. We got my favorite is ratcheting flex head wrenches because it helps me get into places and do things that a standard wrench won't do for you. We've got them, again, the red ones are SAE, the blue ones are metric, and it covers everything from about a 6 millimeter up to a 27. I've got these little stubbies that I have never really used because I haven't found a use for it. These are a lifesaver. These um, are a little bit expensive, but they're good, good, good working tools. You'll use those a lot. And then I've got my midget wrenches, which I don't really think we're supposed to say midget anymore because it hurts little feelings. But it says it right there, midgets. So it's for midgets to hold or something. Okay, this drawer, this is another wrench drawer. I've got a strap wrench, a pair of foamies to clean my ears, a strap wrench. I've got these little jewels right here, these flat wrenches to uh, get into some spaces and hold jam nuts and whatnot uh, whenever you need that extra space. Those are thin wrenches, almost like they're shaved. And then I have another set of flex head metric wrenches. Uh, they're the same as the other ones. I just have them because two is one, one is none. Okay, the next drawer. This is your plier drawer. This is where all the fun happens. You've got extended needle nose in a straight, a 38 degree, and a 90 degree. I've got little baby safety wire pliers, big daddy safety wire pliers. I've got cannon plug pliers. I've got cotter pin killers. I've got other chicks wearing male clothes pliers, needle nose, some 
regular pliers, these, these duck bills, you can take a whole world apart with duck bills. Then I've got some vice grips for some little needle nose vice grips. This is also good for cutting cotter pins and whatnot. Some crescent wrenches. Back here I've got some forceps. Because sometimes you gotta get into spots and hold washers and put washers on or nuts on or something. You can use these to get you where you want to go. And then scissors for arts and craft day at work. Uh, then some more slip joint pliers and another set of vice grips. Onto this drawer, I've got a vacuum because work sucks. And I got a pair of fingers to get into places where other lesser mechanics than myself drop stuff. And I need to get in there and fix their work for them like idiots. Okay, this is the air box or the air drawer. I've got a pressure gauge. I got a blower, a blower with a pipe on it, a, a chuck, another chuck that's not extended. I don't even use this anymore, but I've got this nitrogen fitting in here because nobody else has one and well shit that makes me cool. One of these days we'll be able to drink on the job and I can use this church key to do that. Um, I've got a, uh, this is going to be used to loosen and tighten valve stems. I've got a knife in case work ever takes me to that level where I've got to do something desperate. i got some little grinding uh, bits. Uh, straight from China, right there, made in China, or as our president says, China. Over here, I've got a set of uh, of uh, razor knives and whatnot to be cutting on stuff. Um, also, I got other razors that go in this razor knife, good for cutting lines on top of the toolbox. I got a blowtorch in case we need to torture somebody when the mafia calls. I've got some a two inch clamp and a one inch C clamp because I needed them one time and I put them in the box and they just never left. I've got a couple pair of tweezers. One time I used that to pull a splinter out of my thumb. So therefore they stay in the box. This drawer, this is the look and see box or look and see drawer. In here I've got an inspection mirror that extends. I'll need that. I got a magnifying glass that lights up. It's LED. This costs a lot of money on Amazon, like eight bucks, I think. I've got a magnet, and it has a light on it too. Why? I don't know. Maybe the magnet needs to see the stuff it's supposed to pick up. I got two LED flashlights, two battery chargers. I got a headlamp in case I need both hands to look at. These tools are really kind of cool. These are little um, lenses you can look through and it magnifies everything. What's really cool about these is they have measurements on the inside of them. These are loops. So what you can do is you can look at a crack or um, some damage and as you're looking at it, you can measure it also. Okay, this drawer. This is the beating and banging drawer. I have a ball peen hammer. I have a rubber mallet. My boss says we should never have to use that because we work on helicopters. He don't know what happens when he's not here. I got some scrapers. We use those a lot for uh, replacing windows because beta seal absolutely sucks. Um, I got a set of files right here to make cracks in sheet metal go away. I got a screw extraction kit, which I haven't used on these helicopters at all, but I have used on other aircraft. If you don't have these and you're a mechanic, you suck. Okay, right here, I've got the Punch and Judy set. I've got a, a brass drift, sorted amount of punches, some of these rivet chasers to knock them out, and some other uh, little baby punches. All right, I got some measuring devices. I got some scales, scales in all different uh, inch patterns and metrics in 30 seconds and in millimeters, centimeters, all that stuff. I got a tape measure. Um, we have some gauges right here that we use to do measurements, uh, tolerance measurements. We use the same things are like gap gauges for spark plugs or whatnot, but we use them for some other things where we have um, um, critical measurements have to be taken. Uh, filter wrench. 
and a pry bar. And this pry bar, my boss said I'd never use it on these helicopters, and you really shouldn't, but we used it one day to hold an avionics shelf up, so therefore it has a place of honor in my toolbox. Over here, this is a torque wrench. Uh, we have a wide assortment of torque wrenches here at work, but I have one on my box. It's a quality Pittsburgh torque wrench. And I'm saying that with a lot of sarcasm because it's hot garbage and it never really works that well. This is a digital caliper. We use that a lot. Uh, if you're a mechanic, you know there are thousands of uses for these. Even if it's just measuring a replacement bolt or a washer or whatever so that you know you have the right size, you can take some measurements with it and know that you're grabbing the right one or rivet or whatnot. Uh, and a square, I've never used that yet, but maybe if I wanted to be a little threatening, I could pick it up and shoot it at my coworkers like a gun so they could run to HR on me. All right, this is the drawer that's not quite full yet because, well, there's no more tools I need. It's got a, um, a drill and I've got some uh, mandrels in here in case I want to sand somebody's face off. It's got a charger and two batteries. And this is the bane of my existence right here. It's our workplace safe center in each toolbox. We got a respirator in case we're painting something. We've got safety glasses, clear and tinted in case it's daytime. I've got some gloves that I use for nothing because these are the company gloves. I got my regular gloves stashed that I use for, for fueling. And I got a set of ears. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your tour. That's all she wrote right there. Cut.